Astern is a Group 1 winning son of Medaglia de Oro out of the Exceeding Excel mare, Essa Weir. Astern is a Godolphin homebred in Australia and a reverse shuttle stallion to the American market. In Australia, a Stern is kind of like a Nyquist or a Frosted. He's a top stallion prospect. He's by the right sire in Medaglia de Oro. He has great two-year-old form. He's a group one winning three-year-old. He has a huge pedigree and he's a great physical. In Australia, a Stern stands for just under Australia $40,000. So that kind of gives you an idea of his position in the market there. A Stern is not only a Group 1 winning son of Medaglia de Oro. He is Medaglia de Oro's top rated son on Timeform with a Timeform rating of 126. But what does that mean? It actually means he's higher rated on Timeform than horses like Bolt de Oro, Vancouver, Violence, Mishawish, and Fastana. He's Medaglia de Oro's best racehorse son. Did you know that a Stern has one of the best pedigrees of any stallion on the Darley America roster, or that his pedigree stacks up to any stallion's pedigree in America, or that he's out of one of the best broodmares in Australia in Essaouira, a mare who was blisteringly fast? Essaouira broke her maiden on debut and entered a stake race as the heavy favorite in her second start. She's by Exceed Excel, one of the most influential sources of juvenile speed in Australia. Essaouira is only 12 years old and already the dam of two Group 1 winners, Astern and his sister Alize, a three-time Group 1 winner. Astern's second dam, Alize's, is by Rory's Jester. He himself, an extremely influential source of speed and precocity in Australia through the 80s and 90s. She was a multiple stakes winning two-year-old, including winning a key Golden Slipper prep for fillies and she herself was the favorite for the Group 1 Golden Slipper. La Baraka, a Stern's third dam, was a Group 3 winner on debut and as a three-year-old defeated older horses in the five and a half furlong Group 1 Galaxy Stakes. Her dam, Champion Trisquet, won the Group 1 Champagne Stakes at two among five career Group 1 victories. So now you can see a Stern is Medaglia Duro's best racehorse son with one of the best pedigrees in the stud book. But let's dive a little deeper into what Astern did on the racetrack because he was a star for Godolphin. Astern is the best ever winner of Australia's Group 1 Golden Rose, a seven furlong race for three-year-olds, very comparable to Saratoga's Grade 1 Allen Jerkin Stakes. Astern won on debut at two and also won the Group 2 Silver Slipper and the Group 3 Kindergarten Stakes, key races for two-year-olds in Australia. He returned in brilliant fashion at three, trialing beautifully through the spring, winning the Group 2 Run to the Rose, and winning the Group 1 Golden Rose Stakes. His win in the Group 1 Golden Rose was almost an arrogant win by jockey James McDonald. He broke from post 12 of 14 and under a seriously confident ride, circled the entire field, going widest of all to win in absolutely dominating fashion. Here comes the favorite Astern, and the Colt is letting rip with a big run. Astern heads off Yankee Rose, then came good standing and pending into the clear, but Astern a big winner in the Golden Rose. So now you have Medaglia Duro's best son in the world, combined with a pedigree that is absolutely saturated with speed and precocity. And as an American breeder, you have to ask yourself, which stallion am I gonna try to catch on the bubble? A Stern has bred over 200 mares in his first two years in North America, ensuring he'll have a significant number of two-year-olds in 2021. A Stern's first yearlings in Australia, which are selling right now, have sold for up to $725,000 and are going to the best yards in Australia. For example, Gay Waterhouse or Kieran Marr. Significantly, his $725,000 lot was sold to Marie Yoshida. She herself an owner of a renowned international operation in Winchester Farm. That's proof right there that there are American clients who desire and will be looking for progeny from stallions who look to be able to achieve a crossover between the domestic market in the US and the international market in races such as Royal Alaska 
or the Dubai World Cup, or the Saudi World Cup. A stern is exactly the kind of stallion you could see succeeding at home in America and abroad. When I try to think about the stallions who will have first two-year-olds in 2021 and who might be precocious enough to have a winner at Keeneland or a two-year-old that's good enough to go to Royal Ascot and maybe win a race there, I can't leave a stern out of the picture. He's bred enough mares owned by the right breeders. He's a genetic masterpiece and he also happens to be Medallia Oro's best racehorse son. Come out to Darley and see a stern. I promise you'll be glad you did.